Hello everybody, Code for 29 is back with a brand new video. I hope you're doing well. Today we are doing the last part in our fighting game series. I've really enjoyed this series, but it has to come to a conclusion, so. But today is going to be a fun one. Today we are going to be doing a blocking, so um, that's going to be fun. And yeah, let's just dive right on in. But before we begin, if you would like to access the source code from this video and the last video, so you can just copy and paste the code without having to type it all in or anything like that, head over to my Patreon page and the premium tier unlocks that. Any tier will also unlock video or shout outs at the end of my videos. So if you are interested in that, do make sure to head over to my Patreon page and support me today in that way. So the first thing to do is head over to your animation editor and then go over to your rig. If it doesn't automatically load in your punch or whatever you have in there, just click the three dots and click in, uh, import from Roblox and then choose your left punch or whatever punch you want. And we just need this um, idle animation, so let's copy those keyframes and we can delete the rest. Alright, so here, make sure this is a one second long clip, okay? And then uh, up here, we're just going to basically at about point 0.2, we're just going to rotate this up and uh, around and we're gonna do the same with both arms so it kind of just blocks their head I guess um, and it's just like a block animation that will um, trigger that uh, that's too slow so I'm gonna move this diamond or keyframe over to point one and then I'm gonna come over here uh, and paste our idol and then at point six I think is good I'm gonna copy this keyframe right here the one that blocks and paste it right there so that way we have this block and it lasts for about a second long okay so now they block and boom so that's all we need to do for that let's click the three dots and click export and let's give it a name I'm just gonna call this uh, block anim you can call it whatever you want and hit submit now you can copy the ID and close out of the animation editor now in our explorer, let's head over to service script service, combat, and let's just go ahead and duplicate this animation right here. Alright, and let's call this um, block, and paste the ID in there. Okay, and I'm going to move this out of the block, or the animations folder, I'm just going to put it as its own child so that we don't have any errors or anything like that. Alright, so the first thing we want to do is add another variable up here. We can say local is blocking, sorry this is in the combat script by the way, equals to false. So they start out by not blocking, obviously. And then we're going to have a function called check block, okay? So we're going to write this function real quick, we're going to say function check block, uh, and then hit in here. So we're going to pass through the um, the... Uh, whatever we hit when we punch or kick or anything like that, we're just going to pass that va or variable to this function. And we're going to say if game.players, colon find, first child, you could also do like find player from character or something like that, but I'm going to do this way. If game.players, colon find, first child, hit dot parent dot name, then, so this is saying if we found a player, so if uh, the, uh, if whatever we hit is actually a player, not a dummy or something like that, uh, then we're going to uh, check to see if they are blocking or not. So we can say if game dot players uh, colon find first child hit dot parent uh, dot name, and we can say dot is blocking equals equals or sorry dot value equals equals false. Then all right, I have. I paused it, and there's a disclaimer on the screen, but really, really important. I made a mistake. Make sure that it says uh, if is blocking dot value equals equals true not false okay i made a mistake there because we want to check if they are blocking if if is blocking is true then we want to set damage to zero not if they're not blocking damage equals to zero and that's it for there so basically what this is saying is if the player is blocking then we're going to set the damage equal to zero and now we're going to go ahead and um just check the uh sorry we're going to make this little uh, leader stats sort of thing, okay? So let's enter the script into server script service. Whoa, that's a lot of lag. Right, sorry about that, I believe I got that lag fixed. So now let's rename this script. Uh, let's name it is blocking. Okay, because this is gonna um, give the player a value that we can check to see if they're blocking or not. So we can say game.players dot player added colon connect. Whoops, connect function uh, and then player. So whenever a player joins the game, we're gonna do this. And we're gonna just gonna say local is blocking equals instance dot new bool value. So we're creating a bool value, and a bool value is a, basically a true or false value. It's going to be true or false. So if they're blocking, it's going to be true. If they're not, it's going to be false. So we can say is blocking dot name, 
equals and let's head over to our combat script just make sure that we have it exactly like this so we have is blocking right here copy that and in parentheses paste it so we have it just like it's in that script and then we can say is blocking dot parent equals to player and then lastly is blocking uh, dot value equals to false so we're going to start out with them not blocking and we're going to parent it inside the player okay all right, so that is pretty straightforward. Uh, that should take care of that part. Uh, next, what we want to do is we're basically going to just, um, every time they uh, try to attack, we're just going to call this function, this check block, okay? So we can just write check block right before this hit.parent.humanoid.health. Every time we say that, let's just check block. So let's come down here, check block again. We should do it two more times check block this should be all after the if hit dot parent colon five is child humanoid right because uh, this is if we found a player and we, if we hit a player we're going to check the block to see if they blocked or not and if they did it's going to set our damage equal to zero okay now that should be it uh for that part okay so next we have to create another little function to uh let them block in the first place so we can say game dot replicated storage and then we got to create another remote event so inside of uh, replicated storage create a remote event so go ahead and create a remote event inside of replicated storage and let's name it block and here we can say game dot replicated storage dot block dot on server event colon connect function and then we're going to pass through a couple of variables because we're going to call this from the at uh, the uh, client side in just a moment but all we need is the player okay and we can say is blocking equals to true. Oh, and I forgot one more thing we have to write up here. Where we have attack debounce equals false. Let's drop a couple lines first. And we can say if is blocking equals equals true then. And what we're actually going to do is we're going to call the um, combat event. So we can say uh, game dot replicated storage. Actually, let's not even go through all that work. Let's scroll down. And where we have this right here right after the wait one, just copy that line. And we're going to paste it right here. And let's just say comma true, and then we can say return. Okay, that's all we need to do. The reason we're doing this is because if they try to attack while they're blocking, we're going to start over the combo system, or series, sorry. Um, so we're going to do this in just a second. But actually, let's just go ahead and do this right here. In our combat client script, write is blocking right here, because we pass through true. And then in our combat script, let's just write comma false down here because this time when we when we call this they aren't blocking because we've gone through the whole attack but if if they block and try to attack then we're going to pass their true so it's going to be true if they tried to attack while they're blocking false if they didn't try to attack so we can just before that debounce equals false we can say if is blocking equals equals true then and we're just going to say debounce equals to uh false attack index equals to one and return so we're gonna basically if they tried to attack while they were blocking we're gonna start over their combo and they're gonna um and it's going to not do any of this stuff because we don't want it to do that if they just tried to block or try to attack while they block so uh yeah let's just finish up this script real quick we're actually almost done believe it or not that was a pretty quick that was pretty quick so far but uh let's just do this really quick so we can say is blocking goes to true local character equals to workspace colon wait for child player dot name. So we're gonna try and uh, we're gonna check to see if they have a um, if if we find their character and we can just say if not character then return end. So that just probably means that they left the game. That's the most likely chance, or they died and for some reason they didn't respawn. So let's just say player dot is blocking dot value equals to true because this is if they block, right? This is what we're going to do if they block. And let's drop a line. We can say uh, character dot humanoid colon load animation script colon wait for child block colon play outside of there. Okay, so this is just going to play the animation if they try to block. Now we can just say wait one because that's how long the animation takes. And then we'll say is blocking equals to false and player dot is attacking. Sorry, is blocking. My bad. Is blocking dot value equals to false. 
So this is the entire block function. So if they uh, block, then we're going to say that they're blocking, and then we'll wait until they're done blocking, and we'll say that they're not blocking anymore. It's pretty simple. And then our combat client script, we're just going to um, make sure that they can actually block, right? So we can say uh, up here, let's drop a couple lines, and it, it before the local max anims, we can say local UIS equals game colon get service user input service. And that will allow us to check to see if they push the B key for block. So we can say UIS dot input began colon connect. Whoops, sorry. Connect function. And then here, let's just go ahead and say key comma chat. So uh, we automatically get these two uh, variables. This one is sh telling us the key that they pressed. And this one is calling uh, telling us if they chatted or not. So we can just say if chat then return end so that's pretty simple if they chatted we don't want to do anything and we can say if sorry we already did that <laughs> if key dot key code equals equals enum dot key code dot b then so if they press the b key then we can just say game dot replicated storage dot block colon fire uh fire server that's it and we should be able to block. All right, sorry guys, I made a little mistake. I'm recording a little later because I realized uh, this is an error I have right here. In our server script service combat script, we do need to change something. We can just get rid of this is blocking value because we do not need it. Um, and it, we really don't want it because it's gonna be, um, it's, it's not gonna be <laughs> good if we have that because the problem with it is we have this if is walking equals equals true and i'm afraid that if um if we do this it's basically going to not let any player attack if somebody is blocking if any player in the game is blocking i'm afraid it's not gonna let anybody block uh, anybody else block so what i'm gonna do instead of is if is blocking equals equals true we're just gonna say if player dot is blocking equals equals true then uh sorry dot value Alright, so this should be the last fix. We just need to do one more thing to make sure that they don't spam the block key because we did the same thing with the attack. We didn't want them to spam it. And we're going to do the same thing here with the block. We're going to check to see if they're already blocking by saying if player dot is blocking uh, dot value equals equals true, then return end. So if they're already blocking, we're just going to go away from this. We don't want them to be able to spam the block key. That's a really simple debounce that we just added right there. And So let's go ahead and hit play. And if we press the B key, we should be able to block and it will not let the player do damage, any players do damage if they try and hit us. So we can attack and we can also block. There we go. And then we start over and let's just block real quick and kick. There we go, it works. All right, so that is all there is to it. And let's just go ahead and come in here into players, my username, and then is blocking. And let's just click and let's block. And as you can see, our blocking value has been set to true and false. So we can't be attacked while we're blocking. And that is pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did like the series, make sure to subscribe. It really helps me a lot. And leave a like on the video. If you have any suggestions on future videos you don't want me to make, uh, go ahead and drop them in the comments below. I will be happy to take a look at them. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this series. I really did. I thought it was really fun. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. And I will see you guys next time.